Oh yeah, by the way, my name is Dmitry. I'm the portfolio manager, trader, and basically the one who has, well, not all, but pretty much all the answers regarding the automated trading, smart trading, uh, portfolio management at Beats Gap, as well as answers regarding the Combo Bot, which is a brand new product for automated futures trading that we enabled a week ago. So we will also cover it today. We'll show you some use cases, how to use it, how to configure it. Um, specifically today, I wanted to focus on the automated trading for the spot market and for the futures market. Some of you, uh, I guess the vast majority, because I know that quite yeah, a decent number of people have been watching my webcast before, so you are pretty much aware of the S-Bot, classic bot strategies, the combo bot can be new for you, so we will cover today it as well, so no worries. Um, I wanted to show you in what market scenarios to use the S-Bot, in what market scenarios to launch the classic bot, and when it makes sense to configure the combo bot, alright? So let's dive into this. Let me switch the uh, panel. So yeah, we have so far three bots, two classic and S bot are for the spot market. All right. So basically the classic bot in brief, like shortly, that's the ultimate solution. If you anticipate the price of a coin to rally. So if you expect it to establish new higher highs, like for example, here's zero X. If you think the price will move like this, then definitely stick with the classic bot. The S bot is the one that brings you the most return on a sideways market. So the sideways market is exactly what you see here on the zero uh, X trading to USDT. So whenever you spot the market trading in the horizontal range like this one, well, like we can set another resistance line as well. So this is where you should launch the S bot because it brings you the most returns compared with the classic bot. All right. And the combo bot, which is the ultimate bot for futures trading. So not only you can trade on the rising market with a leverage that substantially increases your market exposure and as a result multiplies your returns but you can also trade if you feel like the market is falling and it will continue the downfall then you can launch the combo short strategy and that, let me actually show you Binance futures so here it is you see the short strategy for the downfall and the long strategy if you think like the price is gonna move higher all right but no worries, we will cover it step by step. I'm just giving you an overview of what we have so far. All right. And for those who are newcomers, maybe you've never traded bots before at Beatscap, just to quickly remind you what is the logic behind our bots. Here is the explanation. So the logic is pretty simple, straightforward, and yet very effective. So we have the trading range, which is defined by the high sell price and the lowest buy price. And within this trading range, we have grid levels. Basically, these grid levels are those are, that are in red. These are limit sell orders. And in green, we have limit buy orders. But all combined, these are grid levels. So whenever the price triggers the sell order like you see here in this example it triggered the let, let, let me actually use the um, dun, dun, dun. for some reason i don't have the laser here but okay anyway so imagine the price is now exactly here at the price of eleven thousand five hundred. so it the bot will execute the sell limit order so it basically sells the base currency to lock in the return in the quote currency and it takes a big chunk of it to plot in you in this case that's going to be a buy limit order and the difference in this case is the profit which goes directly 
to your pocket so it it's something that goes to your balance that's something that you can use uh in smart trading or you can withdraw this money you can well it, it depends on how you want to use this money but anyway this is what the bot has made for you so far this difference is exactly 250 which is the net profit which goes directly to your pocket which you can use in this case so this creates a normal and like an almost never lasting uh, trading session as far as the price stays within the trading range so whenever the price goes higher it sells whenever the price goes lower it buys okay and whenever on the market you see this short swings like if you open for example five minute chart you see these are five minute candles and so far you see that's the price action for today and on this uh, price action the board would would sell higher then it would buy lower so that later it can sell at a higher price so that's the idea it's pretty simple and there are tricks related to this like how to uh how to stay in the market if the price goes above the trading range and we have the tool known as the trading up so that's something that we will cover today as well but let's go step by step the um the idea is that there are different market phases and for each market phase there is an ultimate solution that's something that i already mentioned so we know that we have accumulation phase this is something that present uh, which is something that you see before the rally before the advancing mode then after that you see the distribution that's basically the phase then those who made decent amount of money on this rally they now lock in return so they are basically selling and this puts the pressure on the market a downfall pressure which eventually can result in a further decline if the market sentiment changes in that case so for each scenario there is a specific bot and thanks to the combo bot now you can also generate returns on a downfall which is something that was not possible before having only as bot and classic bot all right so that's the ultimate solution so far right and yeah now let's go through the configuration and i will show you exactly how to configure the classic bot the s bot and the combo bot depending on the uh, current market scenario so we go back to the platform we open the bot section here and you see now well let's go to the uh, spot market we will start with the s bot and the classic bot and let's switch to the demo mode so the cool thing about Pete's gap is that we have this demo mode which is basically a risk-free trading uh, mode where you can experiment as long as you want you have this free money like this a virtual money for you so you can trade you can simulate trading on KuCoin for example on Kraken on Huobi so there are plenty amount of uh, exchanges that we support and that you can connect so you can test strategies before risking your real money so that's why i want to show you examples in the demo mode so you would figure out how to use it for your own uh development so you, you see i already have this active trade and it's been for like 28 days so far on average bringing me 0.5 percent daily so that's to my initial investment of twelve thousand dollars that's a pretty decent return per day to be honest so you see so far it's made like 14 percent within the period of just 28 days that's exactly 1798 dollars which is very very cool so uh, yeah as i said as bot is the ultimate solution on the sideways market why well the thing is in the investment distribution logic so what makes s bot different from the classic bot is that they distribute your investments in a different way so in case of the s bot the idea is that um, it per each grid level it spends the same investment value 
so whenever you see the price falling it will execute these buy orders and at which grid level it will spend the same uh, amount of money so as the price of the coin becomes cheaper having let's say per each grid level it spends $100 just for the sake of the example so as the price falls it means that we can now afford buying more coins as they are now cheaper so for example here we could afford 10 coins because 10 coins let's say it at this price level were worth exactly $100 it falls now you can afford buying let's say 14 coins because you can afford it having only $100 so that's the thing about the S bot that on the downfall it basically uh, adjusts your entry price and substantially increases your market exposure so you end up having your entry price if we look at this scenario for example you end up having your entry price let's assume let's actually use an, an, another one let's use mm, INT trading to use let's say for example the as bot let's use only mm, maybe 40 grid levels or something so if we launch the bot right now and if the price falls then you will see like let's say it falls down to this level like it triggers all the buy orders so we'll see that your entry price like your average entry price is going to be somewhere around this area so this is your basically entry price adjusted because as the price was falling you proportionately increased the market exposure and that's why your entry price also adjusted and that's why it's somewhere around this area okay so in case of the s bot this works the best way the dollar cost averaging effect in the s bot is like works in 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 in, in the ultimate format whereas in case of the classic bot uh, the thing is that it always buys and sells the same amount of coins so for example it buys only 10 coins regardless of the price so you will see that compared with the s bot on the downfall uh, it will always buy well, let's say only 10 coins 10 coins 10 coins so all it should this grid level let's assume that it's exactly 10 coins so you will see that 10 coins here was worth let's say 100 dollars if now the price is cheaper 10 coins now cost let's say 80 dollars so it will spend exactly 80 dollars but you remember that in case of the s bot it always spends the same value so it always spends 100 dollars so that means that compared with the classic bot s bot at this level would buy maybe around 12 coins because it can afford it as it has 100 dollars so that's why uh, on the sideways market you can achieve the best entry price with the s bot if the price downfalls all right which is good because on the sideways market it tends to bounce off the support line so that means that you will quickly generate returns from this bounce off okay so that's why the ultimate solution on the sideways market is the s bot whereas on the rising market why classic board is better well because as you now know that it always buys the same amount of coins regardless of the price the thing is that let's say again 10 coins here 10 coins here but now you see the price is uh, $14 like so it's basically the price appreciates and now you need to spend more money to afford buying these 10 coins so for example $130 is what you need in order to buy these 10 coins so as the price goes higher that means that your overall investment exposure increases just because of this investment distribution logic that we have in the classic bot okay because at some point you will see uh, for example let's just draw a sample trade let's use all these levels bum, bum. So let's use as many as we can just show you the example 
so initially you saw the uh trading range that looks like this you have sell orders you have buy orders but what happens if it goes like this and it and it uh, executes all of these sell limit orders it will place new buy uh, orders at this price level so you will see something like this so you will see only green lines at the end and but that's only in case if the price goes to that point okay so this is where you see you will see that now you only have limit buy orders so that's why at some point you will see that the classic bot if it falls from that point below then it will have to buy this it will have to execute these buy limit orders and as we know now the price has become uh bigger and that, that means that now we need to spend more investment so that's why if this pattern uh, continues like this then you end up having the the maximized return possible so this is something that only the classic bot can achieve so that's not not the case for the as bot because as bot once again is perfect for the sideways market whereas classic bot as it increases the market exposure as the price uh, appreciates it brings you more returns on the rally so that's basically it's so once again the classic board is for the rising market and the s board is for the sideways market so about the configuration so here you select the exchange where you want to trade where you have your funds so for example uh, kucoin maybe you are trading on the kucoin that's it literally all valid credible uh, exchanges mm, those that are credible they are here so you can find the coinbase for example uh kraken okex so these are pretty much uh transparent and credible uh exchanges where you can trade so you can launch bots on any of this exchange it's just that each exchange has its unique rules so for example the minimum trade size can be ten dollars on binance for example a, in case of the cocoin i don't really remember but it can be that the minimum trade size per each grid can be let's say five dollars i don't know if it's really five dollars it's just a random number but it can be that uh on various exchanges the uh the minimum trade size is different so that's something to be considered and uh, so for example we decided to trade on cocoin we want to launch the board on one inch to to use it here let's see if we have funds we actually have bitcoin only so let's then trade one inch to bitcoin if we have no we don't have it then let's choose something that we can trade to bitcoin for example agi to bitcoin so that's it we look at the chart let's say i, I anticipate that the market will go higher you see it's pretty much going higher it bounces off the angled up support line so this is a pretty confident uh, market bullish sentiment so let's just assume that it will continue the uh, rally so this is the configuration for for example that you can use i tend to plot my upper price at the resistance the closest resistance and i tend to plot my lower price where i have my support so that's somewhere around this area okay so that's one possible configuration that you can have notice that even at first glance like visually you can spot that the ratio is in favor of sell orders so it's somewhat around 60 percent and 40 percent just buy orders and that's something that you see already here so let's assume that i want to spend 0 0.2 bitcoins yeah so that's exactly ten thousand dollars and the uh exact investment allocation is following so in order to start this board so that it places all of these sell limit orders we need to possess the base currency right which is in this case that's the agi so that's why we are required to have this amount of AGIs so that all of these sell limit orders are successfully placed by the bot. 
and the remainings are for the limit buy orders so that's the exact ratio of around 60 to 40 percent so as you start the board you are already in the market by 60 percent out of your total investment okay so we clearly stated here you can see this exact distribution so depending on your configuration your uh, initial market exposure ranges so in this case your your instant market expo exposure is going to be 60 percent so you are already in the market by 60 percent the rest 40 are below just in case if the price falls so that you end up adding more exposure and in this case your uh, entry price adjusts so that we entered here now if the price falls your entry price will be somewhere around this area so that when the price hopefully uh, bounces off the support line you will quickly uh, offset this negative shortfall impact that we had and you will generate substantial returns as the price goes higher so yeah now the thing we need to do is to define the um, the amount of grid levels and the grid step in this case so that's something I have here outlined in the guide. So we selected the cryptocurrency that we wanted to trade. We defined the trading range based on the support and resistance. That's one possible option for you to stick with when you uh, define your trading range. Maybe you are trading uh, using other technical analysis tools that define your lower price and higher price so it's clearly up to you guys how you define your trading range um, the next step as i mentioned is to define the amount of grid levels because the trading will be different depending on the amount of grid levels so below 60 grid levels is basically um, a low frequency trading because the distance between your grid orders uh is relatively large so that means that the market need to swing crazy enough to capture all of your like to seize all of your grid levels for example just let me show you four grid levels you see so in order to trigger all of these grid levels it really must uh move like crazy so the volatility must be insane so that it captures all of this because the distance between your grid levels is like 13 percent that's insane all right so you risk you risk uh being out of the market all right so that's why depending on the volatility of the coin that you selected you need to figure out the ultimate um amount of grid levels you should stick with so in my case like from my practical experience as a rule of thumb i stick with the uh, grid step of one percent so that's somewhere around what 14 grid levels in this case so i see one percent per grid step it is exactly what you make uh, per trade so like the marginal profit is in this case around one percent and by the way the fee that you have to pay per each trade per each execution is already priced in in this grid so even though uh, the grid step is a bit um, like larger it's around 1.10 percent maybe but since we have to pay the fee like we have to include it then that's why this is what you see this the value is net of all fees because you see in my active trade I have closed orders and you see for each order I pay the fee all right so that means that the bot profit that this value that you see right now is net of all fees so that's your pure profit all right so this is your profit as it is you don't have to go to your uh, exchange account to see uh, how much you paid for each transaction so that you deduct and you finally realize what is the return you made uh, that's something that's something that uh, many other platforms that are trying to utilize the uh, DCA and grid trading they forget about they forget to calculate the fee or make it optional which is in my case something um, immature because as traders as portfolio managers we don't really 
need that much time to spend on manual calculation so that's why we need to see the exact profit we just made and here it is net of all fees that's something that we make at beats gap so make so that the data that you receive is fully transparent and you can use it you can export to see uh, sv to analyze it further to maybe calculate the sharp ratio sorting ratio and other metrics that you might use in portfolio management so it's clearly up to you so yeah uh, I stick with the grid step range from around 0.8% up to 1.3%. All right, so that's the optimal uh, setup for me that has proven to be successful in my case. And this kind of range from 0.8% up to 1.2% um, brings me around 20 to 30% monthly all right so here in this sample trade my grid step is only 0.33 percent that was my sample trade i did not stick with my strict rules here so you see this grid step as a result i only have 14 percent generated by the end of this month 28 days so far if i i assume that if i would have my grid space of around 1%, then it would make me around 29% or something, maybe 35%, okay? It's just that, thanks to the demo mode, you have this possibility to experiment. So you can launch bots with a grid step of 1%, you can launch bots, let's say, with the grid step of only 0.5%, or with the grid step of maybe 5%, and ultimately, you will find your uh, golden strategy that brings you decent returns on a monthly basis. Because in, in my opinion, you can only uh, make conclusions by the end of the month. So let the bot to work for at least one month to see the final outcome okay and for me i already know that my uh, grid step range from 0.8 percent up to around 1.2 percent brings me around 30 percent monthly okay so that's the thing and those who watched previous webcasts you remember that i had some trades active and i demonstrated this exact 30 percent returns i had like bnb to usdt trading and also i think i have i had one inch trading to usdt yeah it's just that right now i don't have them because i closed them but uh yeah that's something that you can find on other webcasts as well so anyway uh this is the configuration you can stick with and we have this additional tools to maximize your return to secure your profits and to minimize the loss in case if the market moves in the opposite direction so let's uh, remove the drawings so the trading up the trading up for me is the best feature that maximizes your returns the thing about the trailing up is that Okay, you remember that the bot trades only within the trading range. So as far as the price stays within these boundaries, it's going to execute trades. Otherwise, if it goes lower, this is the area of no trade. And here, if it goes higher, this is the area of no trade. But there is a trick. If you have enabled the trailing up, then in this case, as far as the price, like as soon as the price breaches the upper price, and goes even higher you will see that the bot will follow the rally by moving your trading range higher so that you end up having your trading range somewhere around this new zone let me show you some uh, examples that i have um yeah so this one perfect one let me show you so this was my where you have now yellow lines this was my initial trading range as the price breached the uh, upper price of my trading range it still continued to trade thanks to the trading up feature i had it enabled so that's why my trading range has been following the rally and now you see the trading range 
is up here exactly where you see the price like new price action happening on the market so all these circles you see depicted on the chart these are all buy and sell orders executed by the bot so that's why thanks to the trading up I did not skip this opportunity to generate extra returns on this rally. So that's the ultimate solution. If you don't want to spend lots of time in front of the computer to um, to close the board each time it breaks the upper price so that you now can launch a new one with new settings so that the trading range is now higher, for example. No need to do that, especially if you don't want to spend so much time. You just need to enable the training up. So if you are away, if you are sleeping, uh, if you are playing with your kids on the backyard, wherever, thanks to the training up, in case if the price, at, like during this time, if it goes higher and you are away from your laptop, it will continue to trade by following the price rally. So this applies to the classic bot and this applies to the S bot, okay? so. The ultimate configuration, if you think the price will move like this, like it's going to establish new higher highs, then stick with the classic bot and make sure to enable the training up. Okay. In case of the S bot, if you feel like the price is going to move for some time in the sideways market, so if you think like it's going to move like this, but ultimately you hope that at some point of time it will breach the resistance and will go higher to make sure that you will like you stay in the market and the bot will continue trading even on this new formation as the price forms new higher high enable the trading up so that it will follow the rally okay so that's the ultimate configuration for the S bot okay so let's remove all the drawings and let me just just execute the trade finally so that was the configuration 38 degree levels trailing up start you see I since I don't have this amount of AGI's in on my balance I need to buy it so in order to make it quick you just follow this recommendation by instantly buying with the market buy order because let's assume I don't have time uh, to buy this on my own just stick with the uh, recommendation just click yes and it will buy it for you automatically so far so good you see we are now in the market coin exchange AGI trading to Bitcoin so here we are but what about the trade profit and the stop loss I did not switch them on at the time we configured the bot no worries you can do this later so you click here you can set the stop loss and you can set the take profit so the take profit is set in percentage so as far as your change reaches like as soon as it reaches a certain threshold let's say 20% uh, you set in take profit and you see that in our case it's pretty much soon will reach 20% and it will if I would have my take profit at 20% let's set it 20% you see let's go I will use the T so in this case as it reaches 20% of the investment change it will automatically close the bot by selling all of the base currency remaining in trades so that's the thing about the take profit the stop loss in my opinion is a must like it's really the most fundamental essential that's the cornerstone of the risk management and that's why do not forget about the stop loss because this instrument minimizes the potential loss because you cannot be always correct by 100%. You can have a series of let's say 10 successful trades all in money but at some point of time you will have negative trades. So that's why in order to minimize the loss make sure to stick with the stop loss. Make sure that your stop loss is on and if the price falls to that price level where you have your stop loss it will automatically sell all of the base currency so that you are no longer in the market your exposure will go from 100% to 0% so that 
if the price falls even further down then you won't incur even larger loss so that's the thing about the stop loss once again i i highly recommend i i, I literally urge you to use the stop loss because this really minimizes the loss in case if the market moves in the opposite direction i mean even even if your technical analysis and fundamental analysis are sound at some point you will see that for example elon musk posts something about bitcoin and says something bad about it and we've seen uh, many times that this kind of influence impacted the market significantly that's something that you cannot predict it i mean you are not the nostradamus or whatever the thing is that you always need to make sure that your risk is under control just in case something happens so that you won't lose your entire balance so that's the thing stop loss is possible in the classic bot in the s bot and in the combo bot so now let's go to the uh to the combo bot oh yeah by the way i see the question about the change so you have here two columns and let me actually zoom in a bit so you have the change and the bot profit the change is the value that um, takes into account the profit generated by the bot and you know that the bot profit is always in green so this column is always in green because it's the profit that the bot generates as it buys low and then sells higher all right so that's why the, it can generate this return regardless of the market trend so even you see here that was a short-term downfall it generated returns because if we zoom in you will see that there was a plentiful um, number of opportunities where the bot could buy low sell high buy low sell high you see micro trade opportunities regardless of the trend direction it just keeps making money for you and so the cool thing about it is that this profit generated on this shortfall it will offset the uh, total negative value change of the base currency so in this case we now come closer to the change so the change column it takes into account the bot profit so the profit generated on each of this market swing and also takes into account how the value of the base currency has either appreciated or depreciated okay so for example let me show you something mm, and i hope i have it here yeah so here's one that's my uh, ultimate example that i always show imagine you just purchased quantum where you see hodl pointing at so you just bought quantum expecting the price to go higher but unfortunately it falls so in, in in a simple scenario where you just buy it you end up having a loss of around minus 6.88 percent but in an alternative scenario where otherwise you would launch the bids gap bot like you see here below on this downfall the board would generate some returns and here exactly that's 23 dollars that this return will offset the overall negative impact so that's why you end up having a loss of only minus three percent and now compare this minus three percent with minus almost seven percent which one is like which performance has proven to be the best and i think that the answer is pretty obvious so on the downfall automation not only continues to bring you returns but it also minimizes the overall uh, downfall impact okay so so that as soon as the market re reverts and goes higher it will quickly generate returns to cover this minus three percent investment change and you will quickly uh, enter in the uh, profit area in any case so that's the thing about the uh, change that it takes the uh, market volatility like how if the price is falling or rising of the base currency and the profit generated so far by the bot okay 
so you can see that your investment change can be relatively bigger than the bot profit and you can also see where your change can be lower than the bot profit in the scenarios of the downfall so that's the thing so now let's go and see what we have in the combo bot so let's zoom in a bit let me check your questions yeah so let's continue so now finally for those of you who are who haven't been on my previous webcast uh, I will show you the combo bot and for those of you who already been trading the combo bot there is something that I wanted to show you still so let's switch back to my real account where I have some real trades open so let's switch to uh, Binance futures that's where I am trading right now so these are my open trades so far that's the combo bot so that's you see a uh, long bot so that's the one trading on the rally and so you see I launched quantum BNB and one inch anticipating the price to go higher so far so good you see the overall sum profit is $22 and by the way that's the the key metric to monitor the sum profit why because it takes into account the profit that you see in this column and the profit like the uh, the unrealized return that we now have in our open futures positions so for example for example you see one inch and we see fourteen dollars in profit and minus one dollar in unrealized return so if you click here you will see that in reality so far it has managed to make sixteen dollars yeah so the bot by selling low and sorry by buying low and selling higher it has managed to bring me sixteen dollars but since my open PL right now is minus two that's why we don't see sixteen we see fourteen so that's that's because of the difference so sixteen minus two is exactly fourteen okay so what do you see here that's the uh, key metric as well that's it takes into account the realized return and currently pending unrealized return so for example my quantum and one inch overall they are in profit whereas in case of BNB we are now in the negative area minus one dollar even though it still managed to make returns like six dollars no actually not six dollars Let, let's filter by the most recent trade and here it is now 29 and I need to see the recent sell so here it is yeah so you see by sorting out the column you get the idea of what is your overall profit generated by the bot and taking into account the current unrealized return which is you see now it's minus 7 for my BNB that's why six dollars generated by the bot minus seven is what I have in my position PNL is exactly minus one dollar. Okay, so it might be confusing for those who just first time see this interface for future bot trading for the combo bot, but it's really straightforward, easy to understand, and pretty much I explained key metrics you need to monitor. So on the left side you have the overall result and on the right side you have a current PL uh, from your open positions on the futures market. So I can go to trading to show you this. So for example, uh, where I have my BNB. That's BNB. And let's click open orders, BNB. Boom. So you see all these orders on the chart. And it shows you at which price it will sell and at which price and the amount it will buy okay so that's something you can see as you go to the trading dashboard layout but let's go back to my bot section here and yeah so far so good $20 um, my initial investment per each trade you see quantum initial position value was $22.40 for BNB and $17 for one inch so let me show you the uh, key difference 
like i mean combo bot is is almost like it's completely different from the s bot and the classic bot apart from the fact that it also uses the grid technology but it also combines this grid technology with the dca logic so basically combo bot that's why it's called combo because it's a combination of grid levels and dca levels like grid orders and dca orders so dca orders are those orders that are used just to um, adjust the entry price so for example in my quantum my dca orders are below the entry price so here they are dca orders so if the price falls it will add more exposure so it will increase my position value okay and so far it's 70 yeah and it will increase it by like two times more so that's why uh, dca it basically adjusts your entry price and increases your market exposure whereas grid orders are above these are basically your uh, take profits so for each dca there is a grid to lock in returns okay you, so you 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 i mean you buy something and then you sell it so for each uh, dca grid there is sorry for each dca order there is a, a grid order so that's the thing now uh, we need to understand the uh, allocation so for example for example i want to allocate 20 dollars okay it wants me to put 22 for this configuration okay let's stick with this 22 dollars since we are trading with leverage on the futures market that means that your 22 dollars is actually well in my case i have 10x leverage so that means your um position value is around 240 so we simply multiply your margin by 10x so that's 240 so now is the trick like the the the, the secret of the bot so you said let's actually set $30 to make it simple so as a rule that we implemented in the combo bot as you start it as you start the bot as you launch it instantly it enters the market the market with 50% of the USDT so that's 50% of your initial margin another 15 USDT margin is used to plot all of these short sell orders because in futures market we have short sell orders so for each long order we have short sell order to close it because it's not i mean i don't want to make it complicated but for those of you who know there is a, a reduce only trades and just simple open orders so in the combo bot we have open orders so that means in order to to sell long position we we short sell it by the same uh value okay so that's basically debit and credit which re results that you and you you just exit the market but in another scenario you would st stick with the reduce only function so that nah, i mean I'm, I'm really trying to make it really complicated but okay forget it so the thing is 15 percent sorry 50 percent out of 30 it's your uh, initial buy another 50 we use to plot all of these sell orders another 50 usd can be used to execute all of these dca orders and we enabled a second layer of dca orders which is below this one so you see end up you end up having four times 15 usdt so that's why in general your overall market exposure can be 60 at the end so 15 plus 15 plus 15 plus 15 four times that's exactly uh, 60 dollars so let me show you some uh, sample trades that I had so you see here I for my reef that's the one I traded and I put $41 and it's been falling heavily and it increased my market exposure by two times that's exactly as I said in the example with 30 where our exposure is otherwise can be 60 in the in the worst scenario 
and here that's something that exactly happened and you see i started with 41 usd that was my initial margin but i lost 84 dollars here that's the thing about the combo bot that in order to enable uh I mean, in order to provide enough space for the bot to trade and taking into account the uh, crazy volatility of the cryptocurrency market, we made it that way that your initial margin can be doubled at some point as the price goes in the opposite direction. And that's why I show you these examples and I, I urge you to make sure that you understand the nature of futures market you understand what leverage is all about before trading the combo bot because here the risk is larger compared with the as bot and the classic bot our traditional bots for the spot market in in futures market it's a completely different story completely different risk management system so i just need to Make sure that you understand it and that on general your initial margin can double so it can be 60 at some point okay so that's why you see we have this allocation only up to 50 percent initially it was 20 percent but now we have it at 250 percent because we want to minimize the risk exposure uh, at the time when you launch the bot okay so for example in this case my 30 usdt can be increased up to 60 okay so anyway that's the logic and this is how it is so once again 50 percent that's initial open position uh, another 50 goes to these sell orders another 15 goes to dcas here and another 15 go to the second layer dca in case if the price breaks like breaks the lower price and goes even lower so we enabled this even though it's not visible it's here hidden another 15 dollars will be used to initiate new dca orders okay that's the mechanism as it is right now for some of you it might be a bit confusing and you wondering why we have this second uh, invisible dca layer but the thing is that that's the current solution after testing various configurations uh launching so many bots in the uh, test mode we realized that this is so far the ultimate solution to achieve the best dollar cost averaging effect in case if the market goes in the opposite direction and in this scenario the bot will uh, cost average your entry i mean it will adjust your entry price by uh, increasing the exposure so that at the end as the price reverts you will quickly offset this negative impact so that's why we have two layer dca structure so far um, yeah you have two modes the cross and isolated but that's something that you can uh, figure out on your own in brief cross margin use like it takes your entire balance by taking your entire balance as a margin you basically provide more space for the bot to trade because it has now more margin to trade so that means that your liquidation price is going to be uh, farther compared to your entry price whereas in the isolated mode you risk losing only a portion of your margin in the isolated mode your um, how to say I mean, since you can launch more than one bot and let's say you launched some bots with the cross margin mode, some with the isolated mode, you know that in the cross mode, those bots launched in the cross mode, they share the whole margin balance. Those launched in the isolated margin mode, they have a certain staked margin um, amount but at some point you will see that in the worst case scenario when all of your bots are in the uh, loss area at some point the bot won't have enough margin to uh, execute dca orders so that's why make sure that you allocate 
an adequate amount of margin per each trade so for example in my case my balance is 387 and available is 268 since I know that my initial margin can rise up to 60 then at least 60 is what I keep in mind that I can lose in this trade so I can afford losing well it's pretty decent value since 60 is a big chunk out of my available balance but still yeah now I know that I can lose 60 if I put 30 then I know that I can lose 60 if I put let's say 60 I now know that I can lose up to 120 so make sure that you look at your available balance this is your available margin and take into account that you can lose double of your initial margin so that's the thing and that's why you see these sample trades where I have initial margin of around only 17, 40 and 22 so I know in worst case scenario in quantum I can lose 44 in worst case scenario for BNB I can lose around 80 and for one inch I can lose around 34 but uh, since I have stop loss which is you see it's even uh, higher than the last DCA that I have here that means that my risk exposure here is I mean the maximum loss I can incur it's not 80 but maybe around 65 or something like that because my stop loss is higher so that's the thing um, about the uh, combo board I mean I know that it really is more complicated than the original S board and the classic board but in general futures market is is sophisticated and that's really for those who have some experience in the spot market trading so that's why this combo board is for those who at least understand the uh, basics of the futures market and have some experience trading on the spot market that these are the prerequisites for you guys to start trading the combo board since we don't have yet uh, demo mode for futures bot experiment by trading the s bot and classic bot so that you understand at least the nature of automated trading at beats gap so that later you can start experimenting with the uh futures bot so once again it's a highly risky uh bot but at the same time it can bring you a fortune because you are trading here with the leverage and trading with the leverage you know that you can trade with like abnormal position value something that otherwise you wouldn't be able to afford on the spot market so for example you, let's say you have only hundred dollars on your balance and with leverage you can trade with position worth a thousand dollars just by having hundred dollars okay so that's the thing about the futures market it's highly volatile it's highly risky but if you are right and if your risk management is sound then at least your projected profit relative to the projected loss is more or less justified so that's why when trading the combo board I always make sure that my stop loss is on all right and by the way the stop loss in the combo board is automatically trailing so that means that as the price goes higher for the long strategy my stop loss will move higher as well so at some point you will see that let's say mm, we traded like this and now we are trading over here okay so assume that we are now here BNB at $760 so you will see that your stop loss will be around this area so that at some point your stop loss will become your uh, take profit okay because the profit generated on this rally will be secured by the stop loss that previously acted as a loss minimization tool but now since we uh, had a series of successful trades now the stop loss is over here and now this stop loss is pretty much acts like a take profit okay so that's the cool thing about the trading stop loss is that it has uh, double duties depending on the uh, market scenario we are at so yeah
initially it minimizes the potential loss but at some point after the series of successful trades it will become your take profit so always make sure to stick with the stop loss and uh, by 10 times I urge you to use the stop loss in the combo bot because here your risk is already in general is so much bigger compared with the spot market that I mean it's 10 times I urge you to use the stop loss in the futures trading okay so that you won't see this kind of fails that I have had in my sample trades there I like located 41 but I lost in general 84 dollars okay so that was basically a free fall market and that's why I mean I, I did have the stop loss here you see but it was uh, relatively distant from my entry price yeah so make sure that you trade futures contracts where your entry price is justified and and where your stop loss is not that far from the entry price okay so that's the thing um, in case of the short trading it works the same way as the long but it just that it generates returns only on the downfall that's why it's called short because it short sells the market so in this case in the short board your DCA orders are here above because for short bot uh, adding more exposure is by executing more short sell order so that's why your DCA uh, configuration is about the entry price and, of, and, and, and for the short bot below you have greed levels so these are your take profit because we know that for the short bot your take profit zone is below the entry price okay that's the only difference with the uh, long so as far as you think that the price will fall then stick with the short strategy if you think the price will go higher stick with the long strategy if you think the price will move sideways uh, well do not use the combo bot because it only designed for the market scenario like this and like this it's not optimal for the sideways market because it you end up having a zero delta so basically your return is around zero in this case so that's why uh, if you want I mean if you feel like for example you want to initially you wanted to trade on brief to USDT with a combo bot but you look at the chart and you feel like it's gonna move sideways so that's why you will switch back to your uh, spot exchange and on the spot exchange on Reef you will launch the asbot because you know that the asbot is the ultimate solution for the sideways market okay so here's the overview yeah sideways asbot rising market classic or the combo long and, and the downfall that's the combo short okay so far three bots explained and uh, maybe next time we will have a webcast just dedicated to the combo bot where i will show you more use cases and more tips and clues the the agenda of today was to show you all three bots and all market scenarios when you should stick with the classic bot or the class uh, or the s bot or the combo bot okay so we have this clearly outlined uh, on the, on the chart you see right now and yeah i highly urge you to use the stop loss for the s bot for the classic bot and especially for the combo bot okay in order to secure your returns make sure to use the take profit to maximize your returns and to make sure you are always in the market in case if the price goes higher use the trading up yeah by the way in the combo bot the trailing is automatic so it means that it will follow the trend automatically so yeah actually initially we wanted to name this bot the trend bot but decided to call it the combo bot but the idea at start was that it will follow the trend so if you launch the short bot then it will follow the downfall trend and if you 
set the long board, it will follow the market rally endlessly. So that's the thing. So yeah, uh, no rush, uh, take your time, experiment in the demo mode, thanks to this risk-free simulator that we have at BeatsGap. You can experiment as long as you want until you find your golden uh, formula of success. And thanks to the uh, history, you can analyze all your past trades. Let me switch back to my uh, futures trade. You can analyze all your past trades to see where you generated the biggest return and then you analyze why you made such an immense result and you also analyze your worst trades where you lost lots of money so that next time you won't uh, get the same bad results. It can be that at some point you forgot to set the stop loss and you will see that in the futures history that at some like you will see the status like it was forced closed because of the liquidation price for example and then you will realize that okay next time i will not forget about the stop loss and yeah to maximize your returns you will spot that those trades that you made fortunes you used the take profit for example which secured your returns it really depends case by case coin by coin and anyway just use this data flow to analyze your weaknesses and to analyze your strength so that next time you won't make these mistakes anymore so that next time you maximize your returns and so that next time you won't incur large losses okay so we have we have this data here available analyze it and yeah well so far for some reason i don't have closed positions for the atc but yeah i think it's uh, right now under development it's just the maintenance right now but actually you, you you have to see it's actually visible here all the performance of the bot like daily profit generated and other metrics as well so it's pretty crystal clear here uh yeah find your ultimate solution find whether you need to stick with the one percent of regret step or maybe in your case you you are better at two percent that's clearly depends on the list of coins you are trading yeah because if the coin of your choice is highly volatile then you can generate decent returns with a grid step of two percent if the volatility is pretty much moderate and you need to capture like you need to save this moderate volatility then one percent is more than enough because at one percent grid step your your grid levels are tightly enough located to like each other so that the short term market um, swings is something that the board will uh, say thanks to this relatively tight uh, configuration okay so yeah you have this sandbox to experiment to figure out your ultimate strategy and if you are in search for some tips and clues and some ready-made strategies just go to beats gap and there you will find some ready-made uh, strategies for example if you go here uh, where did i left it yeah so here it is for example that's part two so these are some ready-made solutions based on the pattern formations that you can trade you see the exact configuration the exact grid uh, setup and all details like where you should set your stop loss whether or not you should stick with the trading up where you should plot your uh, take profit and all that stuff so it's here make sure that you read the blog because each week we publish useful information that can benefit you a lot that can bring you more insights that can teach you a lot so yeah things like five things to remember then trading and how to make 30 percent monthly so there are use cases there is also one story about the guy who made 
in four months from 1000 it, he made 50k so here's this story also so i mean everything for you my friends and we always make sure that you get as much insights from us as possible as as as, as many use cases as possible as many tips and clues so all that stuff so i hope so far you enjoyed this webcast and i really uh, urge you to stick with the risk management when trading spot and futures market experiment in the demo mode before risking your real money okay subscribe to the channel so that next time you won't skip the next video the next webcast follow uh on telegram if you have some questions left you can ask your questions in the telegram uh, or anywhere else where we are present in the social media and of course here you can ask the support like you can create the support ticket and ask any question you want of course you most like i'm not sure if we will post this webcast but at least you can watch previous webcasts where you have the comment section and you in the comment section you can leave your questions and i can assure you that each question will be answered so as far as the question is relevant it will be answered so i value your feedback and i need your feedback to improve the quality of future webcasts i need your questions to see uh, what should i focus on next time okay and i've been looking at the chat throughout the whole duration of today's webcast and i saw some of your questions some i covered some covered by paul thanks to paul yeah why don't i see the question why don't we have a trading uh, stop loss on the classic bot well because that's the uh, current solution that we don't have the trading stop loss in the classic and the s bot but maybe in in the future we will add this feature so far this is how it is this is the ultimate configuration you can uh, have on the spot market that's only the trading up and a, st a static stop loss that's what you get so far that's the current solution uh, from the it department okay so yeah uh, so so far how much time yeah almost one and a half hour left so anyway uh thanks a lot for coming thanks for your time i never take your time for granted because i know that otherwise you could spend it on other things other maybe useful things but that's why i always focus to bring you the most to bring you the most clarity like as much useful information as possible and as many use cases as possible so i hope you enjoyed smash the like button if you like this webcast and i hope to see you next thursday so stay strong stay safe uh, i wish you profitable trading once again don't forget about the risk management and i see you next time